Hello YouTube, this is Glennis from Craft Room Secrets and I'm here to share with you guys a fun and, and short video. I've been making my own uh, embellishments for my project life and um, this was my latest endeavor. I am in love with flares. This is actually one that I purchased in a, in a package in uh, Michael's. But uh, they're expensive. They're usually like five, uh, six or eight in a package for $3.99 and you know how embellishments are um, expensive and you want to do everything you know uh, you want to do your craft but you don't want to spend so much money you guys are going to think that I'm the cheapest person on earth but you know I'm a single mother of two so I have to save yeah, some way <laughs> um, this is what I came up with uh, this amazing set of uh, flares and this were uh, the DIY and I'm going to do a little tutorial uh, what I use was just um, a silk punch uh, a one inch uh, circle punch and I use these uh, stickers clear stickers that I got at Michaels they were on clearance for 59 cents um, I'm actually gonna go back and buy more of this uh, when I saw them I knew that I was able to do something with them um, they're from recollections um, these uh, I actually started printing uh, the flares um, I got this uh, basic template out of um, Pinterest and I have it on my Pinterest board if you still want it but then I noticed you know what I have so many scrap of paper uh, leftover pretty paper that I can use I don't need any, I don't even need to print that uh, so I use my circle punch and in a minute I have all of this <laughs> let me show you I still have a whole bunch left I think I went a little overboard of different things so after after I got my circle punch with pretty paper the fun begin I found out that um, these stamp sets that are the um, Haiti swaps are amazing for this because they have like the little letters in there and the font that I love and those little items also that you can stamp into your uh, badges so that was a good uh, find and as you can see what I use was uh, stamps I use uh, different stamps I, I also have this stamp set let me show you this is the one that I use uh, this is from recollection and this is a very old stamp that I had it in there in my stash and I never even use it so that's what I'm trying to do um, this week is using my stuff to, to, to do stuff not to buy new ones um, that one I don't know if it's, they still sell it that stamp set um, but you can buy something similar so I'm gonna stop talking <laughs> I talk a lot and let's do one so you can see what it, how it is exactly that I did it um, what I did is of course I got my uh, circle punch of any paper that I wanted uh, and this one I used actually a hard punch and did a hard some of them I did them like that like this one right here this one right here um, I love the one with the um, the um, glasses I think it's so funny and I use um, just a little bit of uh, glue and I'm using uh, let me show you and this is about to run out um, this is just a quick dry uh, uh, craft glue and I use this one because it, it dries really quickly so in this one like you see if I was gonna stamp I will stamp or I just add my shape then after that I just take the uh, clear uh, sticker and I should have opened the package sorry if I'm making a noise uh, by the way this package comes out with 24 piece so if I find more of this for 59 cents I'm gonna be so happy after that after I had my uh, flare in place and I made a mess I added a little bit of glue on it well, it doesn't matter after I have my um, image in it, I'm just gonna, you know, position it and the circle stays perfectly into it. And that's, so you don't even have to do anything. It's the perfect size. Um, some of the printables, I found that uh, they were in the perfect, perfect one inch. So some of them I had to trim it with a scissor, so, but it wasn't that bad. Um, then after that, and I'm gonna make noise, sorry. Um, I used this um, car stock and this was just a leftover from uh, from packaging and it was white on that side and uh, you know craft on the other side and the reason why I did that is because um, I wanted my flares to have like a little bit of dimension like the ones that they sell 
So I just added um, the, back, the packaging in the back, I mean the cardboard as a back and that will give me like, you know, like an extra layer so they they are more, um, how can I say this, um, have more dimension to them. So there you go, I have my other flare ready. So this is really easy to do and this is an awesome, awesome um, project to use those scraps that uh, are going are getting me crazy. I have all over. Another thing that I did was uh, using this, um, this is a one and a half punch and this is like the scallop one. I started using it uh, to do these uh, forms like this with my stamps and you can see how pretty they are and how cool they look. Look at this one with the, um, this is an Amy Tangerine one and it just, um, well like when you go out to eat. <laughs> so I'm trying to get rid of, um, you know, get rid of those uh, annoying scraps and converting them into this cute, cute, cute uh, embellishments for my project life for my any project it doesn't have to be project life um, you can see the whole set that I have already and look how many I have a whole bunch still left over that I can do new ones whenever I want to um, so this was uh, let me show you one that is from the uh, these are the ones that I that they sell on you know any and Michaels and then you can see the other ones. I actually like mine more. They're more colorful. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. So this was just a short video just to show you making your own embellishments. And I'm still working on so many other projects. I'll come back with a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good afternoon, YouTube.